Hello, Dave Skosik. Welcome back. I'm at the Air Mobility Command Museum at Dover Air Force Base. We're in the old control tower overlooking the aircraft, the vintage aircraft that are on display here that are open to, to the public six days a week. I am with Silas Steffen, restoration expert. Welcome. Nice to meet you. Tell me about what you do here. Well, I do aircraft restoration here at the Air Mobility Command Museum. Um, my story is kind of interesting. Um, I did about five years active duty Air Force and I worked on our gigantic C-5s that are stationed here. Uh, I did hydraulic mechanic work. So the hydraulic systems of the plane are essentially the blood system of the plane. Mm. So you have hydraulic pumps that you know operate the blood of the plane and it pumps around and operates all your controls, operates your ramps and, and so on so you can load the aircraft. So I was retired out in 2000, end 2006 and uh, I originally moved back down to North Carolina where my parents live mm -hmm. and I decided I didn't like it down there so much so I moved back up here to both go to school and volunteer here at the museum. And I love it here. It's been four years now that I've been here. I have over 3,500 hours of volunteer time. Gosh. And uh, So the Air Force is kind of like your lifeblood. Yes, sir. So I'm, I'm actually graduating today and say, and uh, well, congratulations. What's your uh, I'm major? Graduated. I'm graduating with a business management degree. So I'll be uh, walking uh, across the stage this evening, and I can't wait. Um, uh, what school? I have to ask that. Wilmington University. Wilmington Go University. Wildcats. All right. <laughs> <laughs> so. Uh, one of the things that has helped me get through school is actually volunteering here because it's broken up the, the monotony of, you know, writing papers and doing research work and all kinds of stuff like that. So on my off time, that's what I do. I come here and I do restoration work. We have uh, over 30 aircraft that need constant uh, maintenance with corrosion control and pest control. Hmm. We have a big problem with birds out here. So we're constantly doing bird proofing to keep the birds out from crevices and stuff, making nests. And because sometimes they'll build a nest in there and then they'll get stuck. So nobody wants to see, you know, birds okay. dead in the. <laughs> have to do a bird rescue. Yeah, we have to play bird rescue. That's why when we see jet aircraft, the intake are always covered, even in different yes. parts of the exhaust system, even. Yes, and actually, if you go to our C5 that's out here, um, we actually have pulled, the, the, normally there's fan sticks in there to keep the fans from rotating. Mm -hmm. We actually pulled them out so they would clank and keep the birds out. And it's actually doing a really good job. Well, birds are pretty smart. They can often adapt to those kinds of things. Yes. But so far it's working, huh? Definitely. So now in terms of corrosion control, does that have to do with the birds or just the, the actual aircraft as it's sitting there? It's the actual aircraft <coughs> as it's sitting there. We live in, uh, we're surrounded by three bodies of water, so we get a lot of humidity in mm. the summertime. And aircraft are made out of metal, so we're, there's constantly, you know, that risk of corrosion. Uh, every five to eight years, our aircraft get repainted. Mm. Uh, we actually had uh, seven aircraft painted this past year, uh, and it's it's actually looking really nice out here. So our C-141 out here is in view. We just had that repainted last year, and it's you know looking really good. Um, but our our maintenance goes well beyond that. We do a lot of interior maintenance. We have uh, been replacing floor panels on some of our aircraft that have had uh, water damage and. Uh, just been worn out because it's been sitting on the ramp for so long and so many visitors have been out here you know enjoying our museum so how many different type of aircraft do you have here uh, there's about 30 air uh, 33 aircraft I believe we have and they they vary uh, most most of our aircraft are cargo related mm -hmm. or aerial refueling related I know they all had to have some connection with Dover Air Force Base yes. to qualify to be here right yes exactly Airlift and such. Airlift and, <clears throat> and refueling history is our primary mission and our secondary mission is to do with Dover Air Force Base and its history and then we have a little bit of Air Force history in general. You've got some great uh, material inside uh, the hangar here uh, that has to do with the history, has to do with simulators, has to do with the aircraft that predate World War II. Yes. Uh, I love that you have a glider uh, from World War II that yes. has been rebuilt. And and our restoration volunteers <coughs> did an excellent job in rebuilding that, that glider. And we also had, if you look inside of our glider, there's a Jeep that was restored. And it actually uh, represents what they would do. They would fly 
or glide these gliders into the war zone and unload jeeps out so they could get around back in the day. Back in the day, huh? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, you're, the, the history here goes from pre-World War II all the way to probably fairly recently you have an Air Force II aircraft, a former... Yes, that was, that was <clears throat> retired here in 2011. Um, our, actually, our most recent aircraft is a C-60 Lodestar, but it dates back to uh, World War II, and it was a transport aircraft as well. We actually brought it aboard. We took it apart from the Robbins uh, Aviation Museum at, uh, in Georgia. We took it apart and put it aboard a C-5, flew it up here, and then reassembled it and put it back on display. Oh, my gosh. I, I, I assume most of these aircraft were actually flown into here. And yeah, about half the aircraft here were flown in. Um, our, like our C-5 Galaxy, it flew in in August of 2013. And we towed it in here uh, in a big exhibit, a uh, big party of mm -hmm. uh, maintainers from over on the base. And probably about 80 of our volunteers came in to, to help tow 19 aircraft out and put the C-5 in and bring all 19 aircraft back in. Who are your uh, volunteers? Are they all prior Air Force? No, actually we have lots of civilians that come in. Um, there's no uh, requirement for a maintenance background or av aviation background. It's just everybody that wants to contribute to the museum, um, they can come in and volunteer at any time. We always have spots for people. Um, whether you want to sell merchandise in our museum uh, store or actually work on the aircraft or just give tour guides, uh, be a, become a tour guide and give tours to people. Uh, anybody's welcome and we have right now we have over 180 uh, volunteers that are active and people can actually go on to amcmuseum.org and find all the information they want to be a volunteer or yes. just take a tour yes exactly okay. and we also have um, one of my other positions here is I do the social media aspect of the museum that's important so yes so we have our Facebook page where I I'm the actual social media manager now um, I was before when I first started here, and then I was in school. So what can they enter in order to find your Facebook If page? you go to facebook.com yes. slash AMC, or, yeah, AMC Museum, it'll pop up as our page. And you Anything can like you'd us. like to finish before, or to add before we're finished? Yeah. I'm the crew, uh, also the dedicated crew chief of the KC-135. It's our, one of our refueling tankers here. Yes. And we're currently going through a major restoration on it, on both the inside and outside. So I hope everybody comes and sees it, uh, hopefully in September when we have our 30th anniversary. September. Well, hey, uh, Silas, thank you so very much. It's been great. Uh, we'll be right back. Same here. I hope you enjoyed our program and learned a lot about a wonderful asset here in the first state. In fact, the number one tourist attraction, the Air Mobility Command Museum, just south of Dover Air Force Base. We'll see you next program. <laughs>